Good morning, everybody. And it is a good morning, isn't it? Please be seated. My name is Alan Ziegler, and I'm privileged to serve as the current chairman of the Board of Trustees of CUCA College. And it's in that role that I declare open the 109th CUCA College commencement. It's also my privilege to welcome to today's ceremony the members of the class of 2017, their families, friends, and honored guests. To the graduates, on behalf of the entire CUCA College Board of Trustees, I extend heartfelt congratulations. It's our conviction that you've been provided the knowledge, experience, and tools to leave this beautiful campus and begin the next chapter in your lives. You start that chapter equipped with not only leadership skills, but also a passion for social responsibility that leaves you well positioned to make a difference in your communities and the world. We, the Board of Trustees, faculty, staff, and alumni expect a great deal from you. We look forward to hearing about your personal and professional accomplishments when you return to Cuca Park. Remember, you don't need an invitation. As the newest members of the Cuca College Alumni Association, you are always welcome. Congratulations. Now my pleasure to introduce and welcome to the podium the president of the Cuca College Alumni Association, Jeremy Horan. Good morning, everyone. Uh, it's my distinct pleasure on behalf of the entire Alumni Association to welcome everyone here today. Uh, if you've seen your program, it says welcome with my name next to it, and I use a little artistic liberty with that phrase, and I take a few minutes to address the, uh, the class of 2017. On my hour drive here this morning, I was trying to think of what I wanted to say to you, and I can never come up with anything that's, that's earth-shattering, fortunately or unfortunately for you, but I came up with a few things that I wanted to address, and I deal with the past, present, and future. First is the present. Nine short years ago, I sat in your seat, and I remember how quickly the day went, and I don't remember much else from it, unfortunately. So <laughs> what I would suggest to you, what I suggest to you is to take a minute to embrace the moment, revel in what you've accomplished, and really be proud of yourself, because this is still a big deal. Getting this degree, either your bachelor's or master's, is a huge deal. Uh, and so you'll find a chance today, really embrace the moment, but I'm gonna help you first to do that. So take your right or left hand, you pick, lift it in the air, just pat yourself on the back. You did it. Be proud of yourself first, because this is a great accomplishment. But as we all know, you didn't do it alone. So the other thing I want you to do is turn to your family, friends, faculty, staff, administration, trustees, anyone else who helped you along the way, because you know you didn't do, your free, didn't do it yourself. And let's give them a round of applause. Now, with regard to the past, some point in the near future, you'll begin to reflect on your time at Cuca College. And when you do that, you're gonna come up with positives and negatives, maybe the class that you didn't do so well in, it's definitely the professor's fault. But what I would ask is please, please focus on the positive. Remember all the good times you had here. Remember why you came to Cuca, why you stayed at Cuca, and why you're proud to be a graduate of Cuca College, because those are gonna be memories you wanna remember and cherish all throughout your time, and that's what's gonna bring you back to Cuca College. So please, please do that. Obviously, there's a future that you're looking for now, either grad school, jobs, or something else. And it's important, and we're proud and excited for each and every one of you. As you're looking to decide what you want to do in your future, please do not forget this great resource that you are just leaving your time from. And by resource, I mean the college itself, but I also mean the Office of Alumni Relations and the Alumni Association. It makes most of the alumni, there's almost 14,000 of us now when we add you in, the most happy when we can help 
young alumni find their way. So if there's anything that the Alumni Relations Office or Alumni Association can do for you, just ask. We are happy to do it. The first example I'll show you is today. Your diploma is very important and exciting. It's fun to show off, but it's not very practical. You gotta hang it on your wall, you can't carry it around with you. Fear not, the Alumni Relations Office has come through. On your seat, you found the necessary swag that you need to travel around the world and brag that you're the class of 2007 from Keuka College. So everyone, please put your sunglasses on. You don't need sun for that, we all know it. You will never be cooler than you are in this moment, I promise you that. Once again, on behalf of the entire Alumni Association, I just want to let you know how proud we are of all of you. We're proud of what you've accomplished the last few years, and we're proud of what you will accomplish in the upcoming years. And I'm proud and honored to call you my fellow alumni. Congratulations and best of luck. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hurhan, for that welcome and for your leadership of the Alumni Association. Uh, I'm Paul Forrestell, and I'm the very proud Provost and Vice President of Academic Affairs here at Cuca College. And I now would like also to acknowledge Brad Montague, who spoke at our baccalaureate service last night. Sorry. Thank you, Brad. Thank you, Mr. Montague, and thank you for teaching us how to put our adventure glasses on. And you can put those on when you have your sunglasses on as well. For those of you out in the audience, if it does get a little too warm for you, please feel free to watch remotely from the air-conditioned Geyser Dining Commons, uh, which is right over here in the Dahlstrom Student Center. And now, I would like to ask Mr. Montague to come to the podium and offer the prayer of invocation. I would ask that you remove your hats and please stand if you are able. We gather today as a group of people from many places, of many ages, of many things that may seem different that divide us, and yet there is a celebration of love that brings us together today to a place that is not just a car, but that is a runway. And today you'll be sent off out into the world. I'm thankful for this place that has been welcoming to me, a place that welcomes me and many others, a place that on your website says, together, clearly, over and over. Together is something you all live out. And if you've ever felt unwelcome or unpart of being together, I've felt that as well, of being feeling like that maybe the kingdom of heaven is a place where there's a kid's table and a grown-up's table, and that somehow I'm a kid at the grown-up's table, when in fact I've learned that the kingdom of heaven is a kid's table, and we all get to sit at it together. In that spirit, let's approach the table together. We say this word of thanks to you, God, a God who listens. We're thankful for this moment, for these people, for the past that we celebrate, for the present that we celebrate now, and for the future that is to come that we hope for, for the love that brought us here and that holds us here. And at this time, as we celebrate, we also know that we live in a world where there's a vast sea of need. We pray to be a people who listen as you do, who listen to cries of despair, the voices of hurting, and may these cries turn into rays of hope. May we, instead of pointing fingers at each other, live with open arms and walk in relationship together. May we remember that each person is a holy place. Help us to see you in each other and in moments such as this. May we never fail to see the wonders of the world through the eyes of a child. And for these students, Lord, I pray, compassion and creativity fill their days imagination and intention to guide them, fill them, shape, bless, help, and use them. May, the, may their sails be filled with gusts uh, of love across the sea of years, providing provisions for all they have to navigate in this world, in all their comfort, 
conflict, and calling, may love be true north for all of us. May we be lights that reflect and guide each other to where we're headed. May the lighthouse that is this campus and community shine brightly for many years to come. Our largest prayer is that in this world of peace, may we remember we cannot put peace in the world if there's not peace in our hearts. We've been blessed to be blessings. And we know that this is a place, Lord, that as we are sent out, may these students discover a love that conquers hate, a peace that rises over war, and a justice more powerful than greed. And may we do all of this together. Amen. Thank you, Mr. Montague, for that beautiful prayer. On this Memorial Day weekend, I ask that we remember those who have served and who are serving our country around the world. Please be seated. But now I'd like to ask all of the veterans who are with us today to please stand that you may be recognized. Thank you, veterans, for your service to this great nation. We are able to stand here today because of your bravery, commitment, and service. And now I would like to ask for a moment of silence in honor of those who have made the ultimate sacrifice to protect our freedom and serve our country. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to introduce Ashley Sullivan, Brianna Ricciotti, Hebding, Abby Kaufman, Melissa Richards, and Aaron Burton, who will perform the national anthem. Please stand if you are able and remove your caps. The flag's right here. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave or the Thank you. Please be seated. Two members of the class of 2017 have been selected to speak 
this afternoon. The first is Morgan Sylvester, one of two, st one of two student members of the Board of Trustees who will receive a degree in occupational science today. Please join me in welcoming her to the platform. Thank you, Paul. Cuca College has provided me with a community that I have grown, out, grown with for over the last four years. This community has transformed into my family since my freshman year. I remember move-in day freshman year so vividly when I walked on campus. I went into Saunders Hall and I go, really? This is my freshman year with all girls? But it turned into the best year of my life because all of those freshman girls have turned into my best friends still today. If I haven't attended Cuca College, I would have never made those lifelong friendships I have today. College shapes a person, and I'm very fortunate to be a Cuca College graduate. Cuca College has provided, turned me into a strategic thinker, global citizen, and an overall well-rounded person. With a Cuca College degree, I feel unstoppable. We are well equipped for the future and prepared for whatever life throws at us, as we hope. Although these last four years have been extremely difficult, I am very fortunate to stand up here in a cap and gown, as most of you feel today. And I hope you all feel the same way as me, that all that pain was well worth it. All of those late night studying or pulling that all-nighter for that one assignment, you're like, mm, maybe later. But it actually turned out all well because we're all here. But enough about academics. We all have had a variety of experiences at Cuca College. But for starters, I wanted to highlight the main events that occur on campus throughout the year. The beloved midnight breakfast. That was not at midnight, but it really should have been because it's finals week. I will miss the anticipation of getting fresh fruit and having all the faculty wait on us for the first time in a while. Then there's always bingo, which everyone's like, bingo? But it's always a highlight. And although I've never won anything, I loved that anticipation of having one last number. Now I want all of you to look to the person to your right and then to the person to your left. You can think to yourself, <laughs> just once, but you can think to yourself of a memory that you've shared together and you can share it with each other or just think. And I all know that all of you have something to say because this school is so small and the atmosphere is such a knit community. And that is the hallmark of Cuca College. This small destination on the Finger Lakes will forever have a piece of my heart. What drew me to Cuca College was the lake and the opportunities for new beginnings. However, what will drop me back in the future will be all of the memories this small college has provided me. It has been a pleasure getting to know each and every one of you throughout the years and walking by you on campus. As we leave and move on to the next chapter, I know I will miss everyone, but good luck as this journey is just beginning. May the next few months be a period of transformation. Thank you, Ms. Sylvester, and congratulations. Our next speaker is Stephanie Russell, who will receive a Master's of Science in Nursing degree today. Please join me in welcoming her to the platform. Dear graduates, faculty, family, and friends, it is a great honor to be here today to speak on behalf of the adult students and my fellow colleagues of the first class of adult gerontology primary care nurse practitioners to graduate from Cuca College. Graduates, as many of you are well aware, 
being an adult learner comes with a certain degree of personal sacrifice. All learners must find a balance between spending time with our families, friends, working full time, attending class, completing reading, research, written assignments, studying for certification exams, completing clinical hours, and other life commitments. Thus, to all of our family and friends who are in attendance today, on behalf of my fellow colleagues, I would like to extend a sincere thank you for all of your ongoing love, support, and encouragement. Many of us would find it nearly impossible to be here today without it. I began my journey to become a nurse through an associate's degree program. As a new member to the nursing profession, I wondered how I would ever learn everything I needed to know to be a great nurse. However, over and over, I would hear from my nursing professors, nurse preceptors, and other veteran nurses, you will continue to learn new things every day because nurses never stop learning. About a year after I got my bearings as a new grad, I decided I was ready to begin working towards the next milestone in my nursing career. So I joined one of the ASAP Bachelors of Nursing cohorts here at Cuca College. This is where I truly found my passion for nursing and set my goal to one day become a nurse practitioner. Adult learners who attend Cuca College are familiar with the process of having to reflect back on their learning and connect their coursework to their work experiences in order to reinforce that graduate outcomes are set forth by each program are being met. In the nursing division, one of the graduate outcomes I have found myself reflecting upon over and over, both at the bachelor's level and at the master's level, is commitment to lifelong learning. Without a passion for nursing, commitment to lifelong learning, and a desire to grow personally and professionally, it would be hard to imagine myself standing here among you all today as an up-and-coming nurse practitioner. This theme is also consistent with one of the Institute of Medicine's recommendations for the future of nursing, and even dates back to the days of Florence Nightingale, who once said, unless we are making progress in our nursing every year, every month, every week, take my word for it, we are going back. This idea can be applied to any of our specialties. We must continue to challenge the status quo. We must not be afraid to take risks, we must continue to focus on the road ahead by promoting positive changes and growth within our chosen professions. To my fellow graduating class, congratulations on all of your higher education achievements. As you all move forward on your career paths, first I encourage you to stay motivated and continue following your passion. It is that passion and motivation which will help you help inspire promote health, and improve the lives of those we serve. Second, I encourage you to stay committed to lifelong learning and use that knowledge to grow both personally and professionally. Finally, have faith in yourself that you are capable of great things in your careers ahead, work hard, and never give up on your dreams. Thank you. Thank you, Morgan and Stephanie, and congratulations again. And Morgan, could I invite you back to the podium, please? For those of you who don't know, Morgan Sylvester is one of two Cuca College students who were elected by their peers to represent the student body on the college's governing board, the Board of Trustees. As chair, I've had the privilege of working with Morgan during her term, and I know I can speak for my fellow trustees when I say we've all been inspired by you and appreciate your contribution, and we've enjoyed watching you develop and grow. Thank you. Morgan, the college and its board of trustees are grateful to you for your service to this institution. And on behalf of all of us, I'd like to present you with this small token of our appreciation.
And it's now my distinct pleasure to introduce Cuca College's 19th president, Dr. Jorge Diaz Herrera. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <coughs> Cuca College class of 2017, today is your day and you earn it. Congratulations once more. When you think of it, today is both an ending and a beginning for all of you. Today marks the end of your time here at Cuca College as a student and the beginning of the next chapter of your life. And I do challenge you today to use your Cuca College degree and the knowledge, experience, and talents that you work so hard to secure to be an exemplary citizen and leader to serve your family, your community, our nation, and the world. Commencement is also a continuation. Please remember that, as the chair of the association mentioned this morning, you are not ending the association with the college. It is just changing and continuing. You are, for now and always, an important part of the Cuca College family, a network of more than 14,000 individuals that extends all over the world. But no matter where life takes you, remember that you're always welcome back to your alma mater, to the Cuca College campus. In just a few minutes, you will be walking across the stage you might think about those faculty and staff that help you through your journey and made a huge impact on your life. I want to thank each and every one of them for the contribution to the success of this year's graduating class. From the admissions counselors who recruited you to the faculty who taught you each day, the advisors, whose bra brave snowy roads to attend the needs of cohorts, to the grounds crew who rose early this morning to ensure that the campus looks as beautiful as it does today. Everyone at Cuyahoga College plays an important role in the success of our students, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. So let's give them a round of applause. I hope you know that out there in the audience, those same people will be cheering for you in a few minutes. Author and futurist, futurist uh, William Gibson said that time moves in one direction and memory in another. As we celebrate today's many accomplishments, take the time to remember that it, what took you to here, but also rejoice everything that has yet to come. To all the graduates, I'm really proud of you. Your family is proud of you. The Cuca College family is proud of you. And most importantly, you should be proud of yourselves. Go forth, do outstanding work for yourselves and our country. Leave your mark. Make this planet a better place. Congratulations to the class of 2017. One of my favorite aspects of commencement is introducing our guest speaker who will give the commencement address. Today, we're privileged to have with us Stephanie A. Minor, the first female major of Syracuse. Mayor Minor receives a bachelor's degree from Syracuse University and a JD from the University of Buffalo Law School. After college, she worked as the Assistant Upstate Coordinator for the late Geraldine Ferraro for U.S. Senate, and then as Central New York Regional Representative to then Governor Mario Cuomo. After graduating from law school, Major Minor was hired at the Syracuse law firm 
Blitman and Keene LLP, where she worked until focusing on her mayoral campaign. Mayor Minor was elected its 53rd mayor of the city of New York on November 3rd of 2009 in a three-way race. She was re-elected in 2013. Not only is she the first woman elected mayor of Syracuse, Mayor Minor also has the distinction of being the first woman to lead the New York State's big five cities. The others, of course, being New York City, Buffalo, Rochester, and the Yonkers. She exemplifies what happens when you believe in what you can do together. Please join me in welcoming our commencement speaker, Mayor Stephanie A. Minor. Thank you very much, President Diaz Herrera, trustees, graduates, family and friends. I am truly honored to be here today. I want to thank you for that introduction because the truth be told that when I received the invitation to be your speaker, I thought that you had confused me with somebody else. It has often happened before, so for those of you who thought that you were going to hear from the Twilight offer, Stephanie Meyer. As President Diaz made clear, I'm the Syracuse Mayor, Stephanie Minor. And although I am not a fiction writer, I am in a field where I routinely deal with bloodsuckers and beasts posing as politicians. I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing that you cheered that. <laughs> In thinking about what to say to all of you today, like Eric, I inevitably thought back to my own graduation day. Unlike Eric, I can tell you that I have no idea who was the speaker or what was said. I do remember I felt a bit nauseous. I'm sure that there was a stomach flu or something going around that day and I was very uncomfortable. I was uncomfortable because my mother had bought me a graduation outfit and sent it to me with plenty of time for me to try it on and exchange it. And while I told her that it fit, I had never tried it on till the day of graduation. And it did not fit. Thankfully, the robe hid it. But not for the first time, and certainly not the last, I thought to myself throughout that day, why didn't I just do what my mother told me to do? <laughs> now I am sure that there are a great number of you out there today who are wearing the clothes that your mother told you to wear, and hopefully you tried them all on before today. But I think that this is a great place for you to join me in thanking your mothers for not just ensuring that you look presentable today, but for the fact that you are here today. Your mothers and fathers and loved ones and trustees and faculty got you here today to officially commence your entrance into the dreaded real world. And what a world it is. We have a controversial, to say the least, president. We have profoundly anxious citizens. We are in the midst of unspeakable violence in our world. And we have a planet in crisis. No, we do not lack for challenges, and it often feels extremely dire and dark. And if you are restless and worried, you should be. The truth is, we all are. But anxiety and angst about our future is not unique to you or to us. In fact, it is an American tradition to be anxious and thoughtful about our future. In the 1890s, when Reverend George Harvey Ball looked out on this lake, he too must have been worried about the future. After all, it was in the midst of the Gilded Age, a time in our country's history that was named because it was defined by materialistic excess, 
existing alongside extreme poverty. A time with dramatic influx of immigrants from different places with different languages, religions, and practices. A time when the traditional economy, agriculture, was being radically disrupted by a new trend, industrialization. And where abject poverty and inequality were the norm. Sound familiar? Into this era and into this place we gather came the Reverend George Harvey Ball, and he confronted this abyss and trends by founding this institution with the ambitious goal to, quote, bring strength to our nation and to help humanity, end quote. These are not the words of a person who thought that everything was fine. His words are the words of a person who sees problems and confronts them, not with cynicism, but with hope. Determined not just to make our country better, but the world a better place by founding this institution. Reverend Ball's hope for you, his dream in 1890, is alive and well today. Not just because we are here at the 109th commencement of the institution he founded, but because the spirit and hope that inspired him to believe in a better future for our country and our world lives today. That spirit and hope is a supremely American approach. And here at CUCA, you learned about the American ethic, to listen carefully, to think critically, and to then speak. You learned how to resolve conflicts through reason, to deal with difficult situations. You were exposed to challenging and uncomfortable ideas, both historic and contemporary. Ideals, ideas like Americans' history with slavery, the evolving entitlement to the franchise, chemistry and calculus. That's for all of you science and math people, because that's still an eternal mystery to me. Indeed, the whole notion of how you have rugged individualism in a civil society. But these ideas and the struggles as Americans, these were not from some foreign oracle that happened far away. No wrestling with these ideas was done by people who looked at this very lake and lived in our part of the world, our historic neighbors. Neighbors like Frederick Douglass who wrote and spoke about the evils of bondage from Rochester, New York. Or the ladies who convened in Seneca Falls in 1848 to argue based on American tradition that women were entitled to vote. That's special to me too. Or Alexis de Tocqueville who did a huge portion of his research on American democracy right here in upstate New York research that ultimately culminated in the seminal work of American exceptionalism, Democracy in America. This is your inheritance, the American trait of optimism, even in the face of daunting odds, to bring strength to our nation and to help humanity. Now make no mistake about it, your inheritance today does have its own challenges. Our era seems unfortunately unique because the very ways that we as Americans have historically responded to turmoil, the ways that you learned of here and utilized here, seem to be crumbling. And as durable as the American system of government has been, our democracy is fragile. In a democratic society, an open mind is the most important asset. Yet our era is rife with trends that are distinctly un-American. Instead of ideas, we see extreme partisanship and intolerance for others' views. Instead of listening, it is now commonplace to scream at each other for th in 30-second sound bites or to attack each other anonymously. This often culminates in the un-American orthodoxy of litmus tests and paralysis. And all of this threatens to define our era. The real world that you are entering into and the question you will be forced to confront 
is how are you going to respond? And my suggestion to you is that you remember what it means to be an American, our fundamental values, values like we the people, meaning that all of our progress is made together, all of us. That in order to form a more perfect union means that we can always do better. That we exhibit an open mind and we place a premium on an open mind with others. That we demand solutions and that we repudiate scapegoating. And of course, a personal favorite, that we all vote. To put it succinctly, I suggest to you that to remember that to be an American is aptly summarized by your alma mater slogan, believe in what we can do together. That is what the Reverend Ball wanted you to take away from here, and that's what we need you to bring with you into the quote unquote real world. Every American generation has to confront its own challenges and demagogues, or as another Stephanie wrote, stand up to vampires and werewolves. And this Stephanie agrees, if not literally, then figuratively. I, for one, am excited to join you in this greatest of American experiments, the real world. So congratulations, graduates. Welcome to the fray. Thank you, Mayor Minor. Every year at commencement, we announce the adjunct instructor of the year, the professor of the year, and the staff member of the year. Each of these awards is a distinction awarded to our best faculty and staff members, those of who that go above and beyond in fostering student learning and contributing to the mission of the college. This year's honorees are very welcome addition to this tradition of recognizing excellence. And I would like to ask Provost Forstel to please come to the podium to confer the awards. Thank you, Mr. President. Our adjunct instructor of the year award recipient has been described as a wonderful, enthusiastic instructor and a caring and compassionate individual who portrays what social work is all about. She was the first part-time adjunct instructor and cohort advisor hired for the social work ASAP program in 2007. Since that time, she has followed four cohorts from start to graduation and has taught more than 24 classes. This instructor has strengths in many areas, including teaching, advising, guiding, and connecting students with field instructors. As an advisor, she meets with students and field instructors during the practicum experience, maintains close connections to her students, and provides individual and group guidance to those in her cohorts. She is an exemplary instructor who provides opportunity for students to learn about the profession of social work and how to become future social workers through challenging classroom activities, professional guest speakers, and myriad out-of-classroom experiences. An asset to CUCA College and beloved by her students, her love and passion for the field of social work clearly shows through. Her commitment to student learning is commendable, and I am pleased to announce that the Adjunct Instructor of the Year is Joanne morris Clough adjunct professor of social work. While Ms. Claw makes her way to the platform, I want to quickly share a story with you. In 1945, Ms. Claw's aunt, Betty Roran, graduated from Cuca College. Can you imagine coming back to visit the college after 72 years? Ms. Roran started fighting for women's rights, peace, and affirmative action decades ago, and she has not stopped for a minute since. Ms. Roran lives in Portland, Oregon, but she made the cross-country trip 
to surprise her niece and see her receive this award. She is a true pioneer, and it's an honor to have us here with us today. And now, for the Professor of the Year. This professor leads by example, has very high standards, works tirelessly on behalf of her students and fellow colleagues, and is a positive mentor and role model. Described as an outstanding faculty member, this professor has provided invaluable advice on classroom instruction to new colleagues. She has shared assignments, grading rubrics, and tips on classroom best practices. Thought of as an excellent advisor, this professor has helped grow the sociology and criminology criminal justice programs and is actively involved in student assessment. She has a reputation among students for being tough but fair, and she often goes above and beyond for her students, assisting many of them to get into graduate programs and successful careers. As the director of the on-campus sociology and criminology and criminal justice program, this professor created the assessment goals and objectives of the major and is always striving to improve the program. A hard worker, this professor is highly regarded across campus. So it is with great pride that I present this year's Professor of the Year Award to Associate Professor of Criminology, Criminal Justice, Dr. Janine Bauer. Not only is Dr. Bauer being honored by her colleagues today as Professor of the Year, but in August, she will be the keynote speaker at our annual Academic Convocation Ceremony. Dr. Bauer, please come forward to receive your award. Each year, the college selects a staff member whose work has had a major impact on the college, its goals, and constituents, and who has created a positive environment for all members of the college community. And it's entirely possible that this year's recipient actually knows some magic. No matter what seems to go wrong, the staff member is able to fix it quickly, quietly, and discreetly, often while meetings or classes continue uninterrupted. And while he makes problem solving look effortless, he and the team he leads work tirelessly behind the scenes, ensuring that the college's computer hardware and software work the way they're supposed to. He's known across the college for his integrity, his work ethic, his sense of humor, and commitment to customer service. It is with great pride that I present this year's Staff Member of the Year Award to Dushan Ducic, Service Desk Manager in Information Technology. Mr. Ducic, please come forward to receive your award. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Looks like we got that one right. Our commencement ceremony includes an amazing group of students who are part of the DRIVE program. DRIVE stands for diversity, responsibility, inclusion, vision, and experiential learning. A four-year certificate program for college-aged students with intellectual disabilities, DRIVE is a collaboration between Cuca College, the Penn Yan Central School District, and the Ark of Yates. These young men and women are pioneers, and the Cuca College community has benefited immensely from the efforts these students have put forward and the challenges that they meet every day. It is our belief that this program will affect positive change and acceptance in the surrounding communities as our students, those with and those without disabilities, prepare to go into the world of work together. Today, when their names are called, DRIVE graduates will receive an award of higher education, jointly given by Cuca College, the Penn Yan Central School District, and the Ark of Yates. I'd now ask Stacy Barden and Deb Fabers Kuhn to please come forward and join me for this presentation. Would the candidates for the award of higher education please rise if they're able? <laughs> Mr. President, we have the honor of presenting to you these students for the award of higher education. These candidates have fully met the awards requirements as designed by Cuca College, the Penyan Central School District, and the Ark of Yates. By virtue, <coughs> excuse me, by virtue of the authority vested on me by the Board of Trustees of Cuca College, and in collaboration with the Penyan School District and the Ark of Yates, I confer upon you the award of higher education. When called, please come forward to receive your award. Mary Alcanero. <laughs> Alan Duncan. Sorry, Alan Donlan. Benjamin Chase Green. Congratulations. Nice work. It's okay. Terry Keyes, Jr. Congratulations, TJ. Clayton Crease. Tiffany Rochelle Potter. Thank you. Another round of applause. Mr. President, I now have the honor of presenting to you 
the members of the class of 2017 for their degrees in course. Come on, let's hear it. Will the candidates for the degrees Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science please rise if you are able. Mr. President, these candidates have met the requirements for graduation and have been recommended by the faculty for their degrees. <clears throat> by virtue of the authority vested in me, by the Board of Regents of the University of the State of New York, and by the Board of Trustees of Cuca College, and with the certification and completion of all the degree requirements, I confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Arts or Bachelor of Science with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereunto pertaining. And I cause you to vest it with the symbol appropriate to this degree. Please turn your tassels to the left. Congratulations. You may be seated. Will the candidates for the degrees Master of Science and Master of Social Work please, please rise if you are able. <laughs> Mr. President, these candidates have met the requirements for graduation and they have been recommended by the faculty for their degrees. By virtue of the authority vested on me by the Board of Regents of the University of the State of New York and by the Board of Trustees of Cuca College, and with certification of completion of all re degree requirements, I confer upon you the degree of Master of Science of Master of Social Work with all the rights, privileges, responsibilities thereunto appertaining. And I cause you to be vested with the symbol appropriate for this degree. Congratulations, and you may be seated. And now, will the candidates for the Postgraduate Adult Gerontology Primary Care Nurse Practitioner Certificate please rise if you are able. <laughs> Mr. President, these candidates have met the requirements for award of the certific certification and they have been recommended by the faculty for their certificates. By virtue of the authority vested on me by the Board of Regents of the University of the State of New York, and by the Board of Trustees of Cuca College, and with the certification of the completion of all the certificate requirements, I confer upon you the Postmaster's Adult Gerontology Primary Care Nurse Practitioner Certificate with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereunto appertaining. Congratulations, you may be seated. Diplomas will now be awarded to members of the class of 2017 by President Diaz Herrera and members of the platform party will offer their congratulations. Prior to the ceremony, departmental representatives assisted with the hooding of graduate students. The master's level students wear hoods of a specific color that is representative of the discipline in which the student is graduating. The border of their hood indicates the following disciplines. Criminal justice is gold. Not surprisingly, that's usually what criminals go after. <laughs> Nursing is apricot. Business is drab, not sure why. Education is light blue. And occupational therapy is teal. Parents, relatives, and friends of our graduates, please remain seated and avoid crowding the stage or blocking the view of others in the audience, particularly those who require the services of our interpreters. We shall begin calling candidates for the degrees Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science. Okay. Katrina Marie S. Anglin. Right 
Joyce A. Clark Abelt. Delena M. Diamond. Krista D'Onofrio. Amy Jablonski. Diamond Y. Ross Hardy. Layton Ray Robinson. Margaret Drayton. Shamika McKnight. Tamika Wilson. Harris Tatiana. Meredith E. M. Boss, magna cum laude. Talisha M. Barnett. Ashley Beth Bush. Victoria Teresa Caparuccio. Don M. Dunn. Kelly Lorraine Evans. Amanda Michelle French. Joanne Gillette. Robin May Gwills, summa cum laude. Carissa Humphrey. Maureen Elizabeth Coniddle. Patricia Kelly Madison. Wendy R. McHugh. Para Cara Pasalacqua. Lillian Martina Penix. Caitlin Pilk. Monica Ray. Cheryl Rollin. David Rollin. Deanna L. Sean. Kevin R. Sean, magna cum laude. Yay! Jacob Michael Smeedy. Camilla Williams. Lilia Yatsuk. Sinya M. Alanya. Jennifer M. Alessi, summa cum laude. Stephanie M. Beard. Alyssa M. Bijel, summa cum laude. James Bogardus. Jacqueline L. Canute. Margaret C.C. Croker, magna cum laude. Logan R. Clark, magna cum laude. Brandy A. Collins. Kyle Cute, summa cum laude. Amber L. Flanagan, cum laude. Lisa M. Gaines, cum laude. Janine E. Hall. Bronte Leslie Hilgenberg. Travisha Howard. Tisha W. Ivey. Seku M. Kamara. Robert Carr. Richard Kohansky. Anne Marie Lay, summa cum laude. Madeline Lombardo, magna cum laude. Amina Nuhanovic, summa cum laude. Trista Oliver. Stephanie M. Patrick. Amy Pelletieri. Eileen Christina Pete. Roberta Peace, Pierce, summa cum laude. Sonia M. Roberts. Jeremy Rhodes, summa cum laude. Melinda C. Shepard. Brent Matthew Simmons. Brandon C. Smith, summa cum laude. Christine Smith. Mercedes E. Swarthout. Courtney E. Sweeney. Sarah Terry. Arvilla A. Van Gelder. Taylor M. Cooter, magna cum laude. Alicia Marie Robbins. Aggie Elaine Trout. Alyssa Blake Walrath. Dakota S. Warren. Tyler Anthony Auble. Zach Briggs, 
James Robert Dunlavy Cady. Abby Lorena David. Sydney Lynn Forche. Rebecca Lynn Herbert. Thomas A. Keneally Jr. Brandy K. Sires Lobner, cum laude. Alexis Lynn Palmerville. Nathan D. Severance, magna cum laude. Morgan Winters. Spencer St. Pierre Avery. Samantha Kaylee Bloom. Caitlin C. Burke, cum laude. Nicholas Andrew Dubio. Jacob M. Hinshaw. Colby J. O'Brien. Abdurrahman Kumsane. Riley Ann Rogers. Joshua T. Sporitz. Nicole Kelly Bro. Megan Cheeseman. Megan Elizabeth Eidman. Brooke Lelone Summa Kamlane. Brianna Kimberly Long. Bethany P. Rare. Elizabeth D. Wood Kumlade. Ashley Rose Apple. Amanda Leto. T. Kalong. Henshi Jal Garcia. Yeah, Nicole Michelle Naidu. Yeah. Reese Davis. Yeah. Suya Chen. Yucho Chen. Yi Duan. Fuang Vote Gwen. Andui Gwen. Benjamin Scott Jaloso. Matthew Joseph Mahalik. Yeah, Ross Joseph Ozello. Joseph Nicholas Petrie. Yeah. Dude. Thank you. Oh. Dustin Springer. Oh. Lindyo Bui, cum laude. Young Min Tran. Congratulations. Lien M. Huang. Nam Le. Hui Q Gwen. Jessica Lynn Paquette. Ilya Terabi. Yeah. Leandro Maya Curran. All right. Edler Alexander De Castro. Rachel Elliott Cumlade. Zachary C. Gressman. Oda Paulin Koloja. Nuhle. Titan Trang Nguyen. Hang Timin Pham, magna cum laude. Yen Pham. Huang Vu. Jared John Kukol. Robert J. LaRue, Jr. Tristan Marcel Mills. Melissa Lynn Susher. Kristen Elizabeth Thayer, magna cum laude. Caitlin J. Wentworth. Rachel Bartos. Joseph J. Catalfano. Nicholas John Felice. Nicholas Edward Fultz, summa cum laude. Michael J. Pastorella. Sarah Jansen. Michael J. Liberte. Ian Alt, Ian Alt. <laughs> Kelly Q. Bailey. Kimberly Ann Sweet, cum laude. Brianna Brooke Lidyard. Stephanie A. Reed. Brianna Marie Summers. Tori Alexis Howe, magna cum laude. Taylor Elizabeth Howell. Melissa Ann Mason, cum laude. Isabel Coyne. 
Maura Gossen. Raquel Sabrina Lockwood. Jordan M. Pendleton, summa cum laude. Amanda Dutoy. Alicia M. Bachman. Holly G. McCaslin. Whitney Elise Bright. Alyssa Jarrett. Tina Hoffman. Courtney Irene Jenkins. Alexis Lomach. Brooke Miller. Jaylene Blanca. Alicia P. Brand. Jesse Lee Briggs. Abby Kaufman, cum laude. Aaron Grayson Burton. Brianna D. Ricciati Hebding, magna cum laude. Melissa S. Richards, cum laude. Alexandra Bullard. Brianna Lynn Schlemmer. Caitlin M. Smith. Emma Weber, magna cum laude. Tiffany D. Manning. Catherine Ray Morgan. Taylor A. Peets. Emily Ann Radler, Brandon P. McClendon, summa cum laude, Marcus A. Patterson, Sabina Androvet, Courtney Freeman, Kayla Leanne Cathay, Hunter Leslie Hesselton, Patrick Riley II, Samantha Rose Sheffield, Morgan K. Bruno. Garrett Alexander Calton. Harley Carter. Ashley J. Demore. Savannah S. Gibson. Anna Kramer. Linda Johnson. Tally Jean McDonald. William B. Staub. Catherine E. Stewart. Abdullah Saleh M. Al Humayna. Trevor Dion Irby. Amanda Magelton. Alexandra Rodriguez. Madeline P. Sparandil. Jacob D. Wood. Mariah E. Dan. Branda Grader. Mandy Liesenfeld, magna cum laude. Andrew Thunder Roney. Maureen M. Manning. William McDermott. Jared P. Taylor, magna cum laude. Michaela C. Wotazic York. Sarah March. Linda Ochoa Palma. Laura Alderson. Michaela Lynn Bailey, cum laude. Brianna, Lynn, uh, Brianna Lee Balargin, cum laude. Lila Barbero, magna cum laude. Janelle Renee Bartlett, magna cum laude. Paige Bennett, cum laude. Brianna Cart. Patricia D. Court. Morgan C. Ellis, cum laude. Jordan Elizabeth Friedel. Laura J. Gerton. Emily Patricia Good, summa cum laude. Victoria Marie Grisdale, magna cum laude. Alyssa Drew Halsey, magna cum laude. Aaron Elizabeth Haskup, cum laude. Amaret Marie Elizabeth Hudzina, cum laude. Rachel M. Hurley, summa cum laude. Erica L. Ionello, cum laude. Hannah L. Jennings, magna cum laude. Harmony Rose Kenzora, cum laude. Bethany Lynn Comer. Brina 
Natalia Maloney. Amanda Marie Northrup, cum laude. Samantha Jo Peacock. Diana Slaviana Ponicello, summa cum laude. Abigail Jo Simmons. Maria Christine Sisto. Emily Elizabeth Snyder, cum laude. Morgan Elizabeth Sylvester, summa cum laude. Caitlin Elizabeth Talbot. Roland Patrick Trujano. Taylor Van Cowenberg, cum laude. Sarah Warner. Kaylee R. Williams. Taylor Ann Wilsey. Kiara Marcella Altieri, magna cum laude. Emily R.V. Avery. Kaylee Elizabeth Bohr, magna cum laude. Michelle Nicole Bielen. Wendy Boisfart, cum laude. Morgan S. Bradley, cum laude. Sarah Jean Briggs. Brianne M. Brooks. Angela Marie Button. Sally Ann Lebick. Crystal Chapman. Catherine L. Chindamo, magna cum laude. Patricia L. Creeley. Krista Coates. Joshua Andrew Edinger. Mandy Fafley. Irene J. Drotty. Sandra Yvonne Fazan. Edna Rochelle Flagg. Wanda Nazario Guerin. Geneva L. Fortune, Babeth Alisa Gale, Samantha Marie Gavigan, cum laude, Julie Kamnich, magna cum laude, Elizabeth Aaron Houston, Rebecca E.B. Jones, Kayla Hades, Zenata Kendick, Amberlyn M. Jones, Jennifer L. Main, Don M. Thornton, Tabitha Lynn Hamilton, Caitlin M. Kylie, magna cum laude, Elizabeth Renee Green, magna cum laude. Okay, we're gonna slow down just for a second. Christopher C. Bowen, magna cum laude. Maria Kathleen Cruz, Sarah E. Klish, Shannon Levy, Allison Marie Luckenbach, summa cum laude, Tanya M. Lutz, thank you, Aaron K. Mayer, cum laude, Jamie Mast, Anne Marie Miller, Leah Marguerite Sager, Morgan Marie Tennis, magna cum laude. Dylan Richard Mayer, summa cum laude. Tanya Marie Lombardo. Shyandra Goins. Jolie Ray Merrill. Sarah Mins. George Bruce Minor. Kachia Jontel Moore. Allison E. Odell. Faiza Gabrielle Osman Sickley, cum laude. Ashley A. Pagan. Casey Lynn Pinder. Genevieve Rose Pavosky. Cheyenne Roan. Jackie Lynn Richards Wood. Carrie A. Rosado. Rashandra Lynn Shepard, Haiti A. Rowland, Jennifer Ryan Sherwood, Nikaya Nicole Robbins Dow, Christine L. Snell, cum laude, Jamie Strobel, Brian S. M. Taylor, cum laude, Nicole Caitlin Terrio, 
Debbie Trotz, Jordan Nicole Van Alstein, Ashley B. Tile, Alvira Veljasic, Stephanie Watts, Brittany Marie White, Krista Marie Robertson, summa cum laude, Roseanne Wilcox, summa cum laude, Holly Lynn Wilson, Vera Wilson, Amanda Lee Wise, Sarah Woodard, Serena Marie Brown, Deborah J. Fuller, Derek D. Harris, Denise Johnson, Catherine E. Lewis, Donna Jean Odarsik, Willie James Wofford, Zachary Allen, Christina Lynn Brennan, Samantha Marilyn Jones, Selena Renee Lopez, Taylor L. O'Neill, Brooke Marie Reynolds, Cheryl L. Walsh, Christine Acorso, Marcus Bates, Jesse Marie Crosby, congratulations, Jesse. Arden Julia Estep, David Gates, Brittany E. Hazler, Justin Krogh, Brianna Rose Longwell, Michael Peter Lynch, Jonathan Josh Murray, Terry L. Nelson, Jennifer L. Nielsen, Michelle Miles Raymond, Jessica Secreti, Tia Sikorsky, Ki Chi Tang, ha ha, good to see you, Jingyao Hao, Jiawei Zhao, Yehui Zheng, Uyuchi Zheng, Christina L. Benati, Shamika Blyden Mayo, Melinda Sue Deridita, Julie Gaetano Carter, Stacy M. Jantz, Michelle L. Lane, Kelly A. LaRocca, Lori J. Matthews, Margaret Ellen Maxwell, Lynn Marie Werbeck, Catherine D. Alder, Woo! Ashley Alice, Patricia Lynn Bravo, Sarah Jean Brimmer, Jennifer A. Cornish, Jody Marie Krause, Jacqueline M. Curling, Kathleen Michelle Kazee, Kristen K. Menard, Ebony Miller, Lori Carol Nagel, Monifa A. Osman, Elizabeth Teresa Payne, Melissa Ann Pinckney, Natina Lorraine Reed, Shanish Referent, Stephanie Nicole Russell, Margaret E. Socha, Nathan Stowell, Christopher Chester Wazruzan, Najla Al Balushi, Catherine Bean, Nora A. Keneally, Brittany Emma Kraus, Sarah Jessica Crystal, Denise Marie Dolph, Nina Suzanne Fusco, Kayla A. Garrow, Sarah E. Hart, Cheryl D. Holman, Emily Elizabeth Jones, Chelsea Allison Kinzer, Ashley M. Lytell, Joseph Francis Mayer, Brittany Nicole Mendel, 
Jillian Lay Miranda, Allison K. Mueller, Tori Elizabeth Parsons, Alexander D. Post, Vitalina Ruiz, Casey M. Russell, Emily Elizabeth Scholl, Timothy R. Sheridan, Jenna Lynn Soldacheski, Samantha M. Stano, Katherine Standinger, Kaylee Nicole Tallman, Bridget R. Tracy, Sarah Mae Watson, Allison Williams, Tanya C. Baker, Ronald J. Blasig, Corey Brocious, Lynetta Lena Edison Saul, Brooke Lay Ferguson, Amanda Christine Hamilton, Renee Marie Kennedy, Gabriela Larios, Marissa Mary O'Neill, Nicole Palmasano, Rochelle E. Perlsky, Deborah J. Fluger, LMA Smallwood St. Dennis, Ashley N. Sullivan, and now our Postmaster's certification. Cassandra Brown, Rachel Ann Dick, Onali Hendrickson, Joanna A. Woodruff, and Andrea D. Febris. Again, congratulations to the class of 2017. On behalf of Kika College community, congratulations to the class of 2017. Will the class of 2017 please join me in thanking and congratulating the many people who helped make this day possible. First, your parents, your grandparents, brothers, sisters, spouses, children, significant others, friends. Thank you for helping our students. And now the faculty, administration, and the staff at UCA College, thank you for all you do for our students. First, a brief announcement. Somebody dropped their keys. There's a little red tag that says house keys. I'll read out the address so we can all meet there. No, no address on it but I have your keys. Two CUCA College time-honored commencement traditions are the presentation of the class gift and the class crest. Would Madeline Sperandillo, class of 2017 vice president, and Catherine Morgan, class of 2017 secretary, please come to the platform to present the class gift to the President. Hello. This year, the Terrace Cafe was renovated and is now known as the Oak Room. The Oak Room is a place for students to hang out and to study. For our class gift, we will be donating a Keurig coffee maker and a microwave for the students to use whenever they please.
Thank you very much, Class of 2017, for this special gift. The class gift is a tangible expression of your commitment to Keuka College. And this commitment began with you first enrolled as student, and it's being confirmed today as you move into the ranks of alumni. In the life of a college, alumni are its constant, the, under, the unending link of its past, present, and future. And now would Bethany Comer, class of 2017 president, Madeline Sperandio and artists Victoria Grisdale and Tiffany Manning, please come to the podium to present the class crest. Hello, the class of 2017 is proud to present to all of you the class crest. As you well know, Ball Hall is an iconic building on our campus. It is in our brochures, it is in the pictures that come to mind when you think of Keuka College, and it helps us give directions as to where to go on campus. If you're trying to get to Saunders, you come in, go ahead to Ball Hall and take a right. We are also the only class that has been that has been through the college as the storm, the wolf pack, and the wolves. <laughs> in our crest, we have a silhouette of Ball Hall with a storm on the left to signify our past and a wolf howling to the moon on the right to signify where we are now and to show that we are ready to hit the ground running with whatever the world has for us. Thank you. Yep. Thank you very much, Class of 2017, for the beautiful crest. It carries the signature of each of you, acknowledging your perpetual place here at Cuca College. Thank you again. All right, we're just about done. But before departing, three brief announcements. First, everyone is invited to a reception on the lawn immediately following the recessional and there will not be any rain. Second, please be advised that your diplomas will be ma mailed to the address that you have indicated to, in the registrar's office over the next several weeks. Third, remember for those of you who ordered commemorative wine and other items, you can pick them up in Dahlstrom Student Center, room 26, between now and 2 p.m. this afternoon. Before we conclude this afternoon's ceremony, I'd like to ask for a round of applause to thank the many members of the Cuca College community who served to present our commencement today, who served on the commencement committee, and those who volunteered to assist today, and those who helped set up and coordinate the logistics of the 109th commencement. Will you now please stand for the singing of the alma mater to be performed by the Cuca Brass Concert. Please remain standing for the benediction which will be offered by Reverend Detter. Please remain standing for the recessional as well. And finally, thank you all for coming and a final congratulations to the class of 2017 and please enjoy the rest of the day.
Huca College graduating class of 2017 and guests. Although at times it might not have felt like it, it really wasn't that long ago when you began your journey at Huca College. Now you are college graduates and we have been privileged to get to know you, to dream with you, to build with you, and to serve with you. While this prayer may conclude our commencement day, it will not be the final time that I and this community prays for you. So would you please bow your heads and let us pray. God, we are thankful for the gift of life, for the gift of faith, for the gift of family, and for the gift of friendship, and for the gift of the community we call Cuca College. We are thankful for the opportunities we have had today to reflect and to celebrate. We know obstacles have been overcome, milestones have been reached, dreams have been realized, and now the future waits for us to walk into. We pray to be leaders that build a world of harmony, peace, inclusiveness, justice, and grace. We pray to not only recognize difference, but to be open towards understanding others so that we may be respectful people, building bridges across differences to form relationship. We pray for the courage to risk, to share our passions, to share our lives. We pray that we would be people of grace, humility, and generosity. While this commencement marks an end to this important chapter in our lives, it is also the start of something new. With thanksgiving for the past, in celebration of the present, in anticipation of the future, our hands, our hearts, our feet, and our lives are ready to move forward. Amen.
got this feeling inside my bones It goes electric wavy when I turn it on All through my city, all through my home We're flying up no ceiling when we in our zone I got that sunshine in my pocket Got that good soul in my feet I feel that hot blood in my body when it drops Ooh, I can't take my eyes off of it Moving so phenomenally Room on lock the way we rock it So don't stop And under the lights when everything goes Nowhere to hide when I'm getting you close When we move, well you already know So just imagine Nothing I can see but you when you dance Shouldn't do, but you dance. 